Hello, I'm Gordon Wilkin, Product Application Specialist from Caterpillar Underground Hard Rock Vehicles. Today, we were at the Burnie Proving Grounds in Tasmania, Australia. Behind me is our new model, the R2900XE. The R2900XE is built on the platform of our most popular LHD models, being the first diesel electric machine. It's highly productive and smooth, quick machine responses together with improved digging and tramming performances. Employing an electric drive componentry results in fuel burn reductions, improved productivity, helping the customers reduce greenhouse gas emissions and carbon footprints. The R2900XE offers superior productivity, increasing to a 18.5 metric tonne capacity. Compared to the R2900 that is existing, it has 51% quicker acceleration, 31% reduction in fuel burn, 35% increased breakout force, improved safety features, improved speed on grade, together with load sensing hydraulic pumps and a new bucket design. This together will reduce maintenance and repair costs. The diesel electric drive has significant reduction in maintenance and repair costs. We have stronger frames to increase durability, traction control greatly reducing tyre spin, and increased component lives and extended service intervals. The R2900XE comes fitted with the ever-reliable C15 engine. It is certified to EU Stage 5 and Tier 2. Being an electric drive machine, the engine only needs to run at 1600 RPM. That saves a lot in fuel, that saves a lot in heat generation, which makes it far better for working in the underground mines. It also allows the engine better reliability and extended service intervals. The R2900XE has a high ambient cooling package, optional reversing camera. In the rear frames, is the holes already for the 80 tonne D shackles required for machine recovery. If required, we have a modular design bolt-on recovering hook. To further improve our R2900XE, we have all our daily checks and service points in a centralised location and all accessible from ground level. So in this centralised location, it houses all our daily pre-start checkpoints, including the exhaust fluid, engine oil, coolant level. It also contains all our safety devices battery isolator, start isolator, emergency shutdown activation and fire suppression activation points. In this location is also the evacuation point for the coolant and the engine oil. Moving on to our bolt-in fuel tank. It's a modular design allowing it to be removed and installed easily. Above it is the air filters and the batteries. Moving on to our powertrain. The final drive has been increased in durability by running a four gear final drive and larger brake discs. The rim is now flange mounted to make it safer to remove and to install. The tyres from Bridgestone are now a subterranean design, allowing for longer life and carrying capacity. Next is the hydraulic tank oil level sight glass and the optional forward facing and rear facing side view cameras. Continuing on with the many features of the 2900XE, wheel chocks are now fitted and available as an optional extra. We have positioning for fire extinguishers the electric grease pump system is an optional extra. In the articulation hitch is the main control valve and access to the ride control cylinder. The electric drive, it replaces the transmission with an electric drive motor. It drives us through a conventional drop box into the conventional drive shafts out to your normal axles and final drives. Removing the transmission removes all those mechanical parts, high wearing parts and high heat generating transmissions. The torque converter is removed and replaced with a generator. So the power comes via the generator, through an inverter, into the electric motor. It gives us seamless control over our ground speed. It is super quiet. It is easy to maintain with less moving parts. It does not generate the heat and is therefore far better for the whole machine. Moving into the hydraulic tank area, it's a bolt-in hydraulic tank. The steering control valve is now under the tank. Your service points, your test points, your hydraulic oil evacuation point is all behind this door. The windscreen washer bottle is also behind this door. Nice and solid and strong and in there to stay neat and tidy. 
As we developed the R2900 XE, we spent a lot of engineering time to make sure we had modular design for ease of service. We've also designed in items that reduce the amount of live work that is required. These remote brake bleeders are an example of the reduction in live work that we've engineered into the machine. So as we continue with the features of the R2900 XE, we have a redesigned lift arm. It's purposely designed to allow us to increase the breakout force together with the larger lift cylinders and the larger tilt cylinder. To go with that extra breakout force, we've redesigned the buckets. There are four bucket sizes available with a variety of GET options. Please contact your local dealer and they will assist you to design the bucket that suits your mine site conditions. The R2900XE has so many features. The door locking system is now done through sensors. It's a operator present system. So if the door is not closed properly, it'll bring on the alarms. If you haven't fitted your seatbelt, it'll bring on the alarms. It is all about the safety of the operator. We've also added features to reduce the fatigue of the operators, such things as automatic forward and reversing lights, automatic high and low beam, automatic boom illumination lights. So as you raise the lift arms, those boom lights will turn on and off automatically. The hydraulic system also features adjustable bucket and boom lockouts. This helps to reduce operator fatigue and ease of operation. It also allows a return to dig function of the hydraulic control. We have auto dig. With a flick of a switch, the machine will dig its own bucket full and the only operator input is the throttle. The R2900XE also features a full suite of technology. This starts off as the basic line of sight remote control through to full automation where the machine is fully autonomous from the auto dig to the auto tram and to the auto dump features. You no longer need to apply the brakes when you're going from forward to reverse. You can select and change direction at the flick of a switch. There is only one brake pedal. There's no longer a neutralizer pedal. Again, this is all through the new technology and the redesign of the electric drive. Down ramp speed control is completely possible as the machine has an auto retarder function that helps the machine control its own speed, not requiring brake application. The brakes do not apply until a very large depression of the pedal. Until that time, it is all done through the electrical torque reduction through the electric drive system. The wipers are all done by the joystick and a simple press of a button. Added to these is the optional cameras. We have a rear view camera monitor. We also have a forward facing and a rear facing side view camera, giving the operator far better vision on the blind side of the machine. The standard seat is a suspension seat with a T-back and air seats a optional fitment. The windows now have a dual zipper lock meaning that the operator can egress the cab in an emergency situation easily or you can gain access to that operator externally. The rear cab window has an optional fill-in plate for those operations that do not want glass in the right hand shoulder position. So thank you for your attention as we've walked through the many features of the new R2900 XE loader from Caterpillar. It's been my absolute pleasure, but please contact your local dealer and they'll explain even more features and benefits to help you design the machine to suit your mine operating conditions.